Yo, what is up guys? It's the Goblin and welcome back to another Call of Duty Black Ops 4 video. Now in this video, I want to do sort of an updated and a more in-depth video on how to win your gunfights in this game. And I know a lot of new people have picked up this game, whether it was for Christmas, around the holidays, or just picking it off off a sale or different stuff like that. Um, and I wanted to, winning gunfights is so important in this game. You want, eventually, you like even in a team-based domination or something, you want to isolate gunfights, take on 1v1 gunfights, you can win over and over and over to stack up to your streaks and being able to win gunfights and to understand your positioning going into them is a huge thing in this game that we're going to cover in this video. Hope you guys will enjoy this thing. If you guys could drop a like on this thing, let's go for 2,000 likes. I would very, very much appreciate that. I know it's a lot to ask for, but if we could hit 2,000 likes, that would be incredible. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new and not already subscribed. And some of these tips you, you guys may have already heard, but it's good, nice to reiterate them or to hear them again. And some of this stuff might be new or because we're going a little in depth on time to kill statistics and what actually matters in gunfights. So let's get right into it. Now, gunfights in this game, because Call of Duty has traditionally been pretty much the same. You know, there's variations every single year, you know, especially when they change up the movement system. That was one of the biggest variations. But one of the things that's changed that was a pretty big and significant change for the franchise, it's going to be interesting to see the next couple of years. I haven't even thought about this before, but are we going to be sticking with the 100 health like we had back in the day on pretty much every other COD or on this COD with 150 health? So with that, means is for a good player if you're above average player if there's more health on each player the person with the better aim has an advantage because of that so 1v1 fights are a little bit easier in this game but 1v2s or 1v3s are much much harder in this game because of the extra 50 health every single player has just off default of this game being different from past call of duty games so my number one tip for for um, we're going to teach you guys how to win some gunfights here and how to be in the set yourself up for the best positioning to win gunfights but don't try to be a superhero don't go deep in these spawn systems like you could back in mw3 that doesn't work too well in this game just because of that extra health and a bunch of other factors as well you know specialist bonus not being in and different stuff like that so first thing when it comes down to winning gunfights is your weapon choice and the main thing of weapon choice is the time to kill so you want to take what map you're playing and pick a weapon that you like that's good to control that has good utility but mainly that you can get fast kills with so some weapons that have a super low time to kill are of course something like the spitfire super fast fire rate and an absolutely deadly SMG on the assault rifle category the Maddox or the KN have the fastest uh, time to kills and on the SMG category they all have pretty decent ones but the ones with the uh, best fire rates the Spitfire and then the SOG definitely are gonna give you your best time to kill and you can even rock a SOG do wield or, or whatever to increase that time to kill also so time to kill is important picking a weapon for example if I'm playing on a map like sl slums I might go for the Maddox because that's a the fastest time to kill assault rifle it's also good to control good at close range good at a little bit more extended ranges if i'm playing on nuketown i want to sit back i might pick a swordfish if i'm playing on nuketown i want to rush i'm going to pick something like a spitfire so you have to decide what you're going to do and not just a lot of people pick their guns based off the map which works right but that's sort of half of the picture you want to pick your guns based off not only the map but the map and how your play style works with that map some people on nuketown might sit in the top building with explosives and a sniper and you know like claymore or something like that uh well razor wire or something in this game and that might work for them right other people might run straight into the spawns some people might like to chill around b-dom stack streaks with like a decent assault rifle like i like to play so it all depends on that with your weapon choice you want to get a weapon that has fast time to kills like the ones that i mentioned that's going to make the difference because if you're rocking like a gks which is great but the gks is garbage gks is a great gun for utility and everything overall but it's it's bad on winning one-on-one -on -one gunfights because it's time to kill is super duper slow and that's that's why, you know, if, if you run into a fight and someone has a GKS and they even shoot you a uh, split millisecond first, but you have that, that Spitfire, you'll probably still win that gunfight. So I think weapon choice is a huge, huge thing. Next with class setups, how you can give yourself an advantage. Gung-ho all the time. There's just no reason. Gung-ho needs to be on every single class setup. It allows you to shoot while sprinting, to uh, reload and sprint at full speed, and mainly to get your gun up quicker, quicker out of your sprint. So it's about 25% to about 60% quicker, depending on the weapon. Uh, in the, that you're rocking with in this game so I think that's a major major thing with gung-ho and it's such an overpowered perk that's actually banned from competitive and professional play so if you're gonna say wait if gung-ho so good why do no no one on optic uses it no one on phase uses it in, in 
competitive play, that's because it's so damn good. They actually banned a perk, which I don't know if that happens very often. I don't think so, but so they're forced to run dexterity and stuff like that. So gung ho, super duper important for winning gunfights. Time to kill of your weapon, super duper important. Other speed enhancements can be nice, like a rapid fire will increase your time to kill. You know, grip, which allows you to miss less shots, which can help you out because you're not going to make hit every single shot. Um, and that's why you have to keep in mind, you know, even though the Spitfire has a faster time to kill, technically, than the SOG, are you going to be able to hit those Spitfire shots at mid-range? Probably not. So you might want to go up to a SOG, or if you want to fight even far further away, go up to like a Maddox or something like that. So other speed attachments, quick draw, uh, stuff like that can help. I would say stock is a major key to winning gunfights because you want to aim down sights around corners. You want to be ready for the gunfight. Even with 150 health, it's still a twitch shooter, and you want to be ready for the gunfight before the enemies are, and that's why stock is a major, major key. And on certain weapons, like the one I'm rocking in this gameplay right now, stock isn't even available, which is a bait a major L for that weapon so when stocks not available I'm kind of stuck to jump shotting around corners uh, but when stock is available I can you can either you know jump shot around corners and then go into an aim down sights or you can just strafe around corners and aim down sights around corners it's a lot better so stock I would say gung-ho huge huge uh, enhancements that will help you guys to win gunfights next thing i know people are going to ask uh, i covered this before but jump shotting versus drop shotting in this game you cannot drop shot unless you have dexterity um because when you when you drop into prone you basically put your hand down on the ground and it makes your weapon go into hip fire and i mean you could drop shot i guess but your aim goes absolutely bonkers and just it's, it's all over the place so drop shot is not the way to go in this game if you do run dexterity it can be okay i guess in certain scenarios but jump shot is definitely the way to go out of those two jump shot is the best way to surprise opponents when you jump shot around a corner basically jump into that uh that, that will surprise them maybe they'll miss some shots and drop shotting was better in like certain certain games drop shotting is better but drop shot the the downside of that was it would expose your head of course but in this game i think jump shot is 100 the way to go when you do that next thing people will always ask i'm covering some frequently asked questions or common questions here is to win gunfights um where should you aim at should you aim for the head and the majority the answer is in call of duty the majority of the time your best bet uh, just logically, statistically, and just over the, the thousands of gunfights you're going to take, is just to take is just to aim at the body, and that's the best bet. But certain guns, if you're rocking with the auger with high caliber two, or the rampart with high caliber two, or some sort of setup where you have those headshots beefed up, uh, then there can be incentives. For example, the swordfish with high caliber, if you hit all body shots, and I'm talking just normal swordfish without pentaburst, that's not going to kill them. But if you hit all three body shots, and then that last shot of the burst hits them in the head with high caliber that's a one burst kill so with certain weapons like that there is incentives but for the main part of winning gunfights just aim for the biggest the middle of your target and don't really worry too much about that i mean the time to kills are so quick in this game uh you know less than like half a second for the most part with good weapons in this game so you don't really have to worry about that and the main thing when it comes down to winning gunfights is and i'm gonna talk about this for the the, the last bit of this video is knowledge if you know where the enemies are gonna be and you're ready for those gunfights aiming down sights around corners with a stock or they popped up on your radar the way the radar works in this game is even if you don't have a uav even if you have nothing up with how the fog of war basically works you can see where when your teammates are fighting players where they're at you can really understand the flow of traffic and knowledge is the main key when you play this game and you have hundreds of reps or thousands of reps or whatever playing certain maps and watching videos when you're watching gameplay look up at the mini map glance up there look at where the players are spawning trapping the other enemies where the enemies are spawning when they have this flag wait when they have the two flags when when some team one team has b but the other team is a and c then where do they spawn different stuff like that if you know that you have that knowledge other people when they spawn out and they're looking around wait why did i spawn over here you're already aiming down sights around the corner and they'll just be running into your fire that's how you know you have good map knowledge on something like like i think i have really good map knowledge on ones like slums and firing range because i've played those for years right i've been playing call of duty since those maps were first released so when like I really did think when those maps like came back people like me and people that have even played those maps have such a big advantage because I understand the flow of them and the spawns while they may be different and this game is 5v5 versus 6v6 and all the weapons are different the flow is still very similar if the spawns remain similar and understanding flows 
rush routes and what a flow means it basically means when when people are spawning there which what percentage of people for example when they spawn in the back of nuke town what percentage of people will run to the bottom house what percentage of people go to the top house how many people go around the left or the right if you know just in jet you don't, you don't have to know exact numbers you know i'm just talking in general if you know oh they're spawning in the back uh, they're probably gonna be coming around this left side to be dom which they do at nuke town you get your gun up there and you'll be ready for that gunfight before they are you can win gunfights easily getting that first shot in when you don't get the first shot in it's all about snapping onto a target which you need to have a comfortable sensitivity which i don't recommend going with a super high sensitivity where you have to miss shots but you want to have a nice sensitivity where you can snap onto a target and then just be able to win gunfights like that based off your weapon if you have something like the maddox and other people have crappy weapons if, even if they hit that first shot if you can snap on them with the maddox you can still win those gunfights because of how fast the time to kill is with that weapon or something like that hopefully this video helped you guys out a little bit more in depth on winning gunfights weapon selection and how you're going to play the map thanks for watching guys drop a like on this video i'd very much appreciate that subscribe if you guys are new and that's about it have a great night and i'm out peace